Welcome to the very first episode of Wine and Real Estate TV. I am your host, Chris Morton, here with one of my favorite wine store owners of all time, oh, Joe you. O'Keefe. Hey, Chris, how are you today? Doing wonderful, doing wonderful. Um, this is a unique show. I, it's uh, revolves around my two favorite passions in the world, wine and real estate, which is why I call it Wine and Real Estate TV. Uh, crazy concept there. Um, I am going to be, uh, my goal of this show is to introduce folks to new wines that they may not have heard of before and to meet some of the wine distributors, wine store owners, and, and also some winemakers that are out there in the area. Of here in uh, the Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, Wake Forest, North Carolina area. Also going to be introducing you to some homes and some issues that revolve around houses like mold issues and concerns to, to hope, hopefully educate folks. Anyway, let's get started. We've got some great wines here with Joe. And I, actually, Joe, I want to turn it over to you and ask you if you would let everybody know where your store is uh, so they can come visit you in droves. Sure. <laughs> Let him come visit me in droves. Let me take this big microphone in my hand first. <laughs> um, I hope I can hold on to it. It's very, very heavy. Um, we have two stores. We have the Wake Forest store. It's been in Wake Forest for six years. It's on Rogers Road next to Shuckers, 3325 Rogers Road. We are in Suite 104. And about a year and a half ago, uh, we took over a great location, uh, a great wine shop that was there. And uh, we were able to kind of uh, jump in there with a, another wine 101 spot next to Raji on Durley Road, on Durley Corners. And, uh, and Raleigh, and that's uh, been a fantastic location for us. We've got two great families of people that we've built. We've got a, a nice family out here in, in Wake Forest, and we've built a, a wonderful family of folks out there in Raleigh as well. I'm looking forward to visiting them out there. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a great store. Absolutely. Thank you very much. So uh, shall we taste some wine? Absolutely. I, I, you Absolutely. look thirsty, Chris. You've been running around very today. Parched. We are going to start in one of my favorite, favorite countries uh, for wine, uh, Chile. And the thing about Chile that's really unique is you've got a lot of Chilean families that have been established there for years and years and years, but they didn't necessarily know much about making wine. And you've got a lot of French winemakers that were kind of sick of all the politics and were kind of felt hamstrung by the dynamics of, of wine growing or grape growing and wine making in France, and they've kind yeah. of mel melded together to make some great stuff. And this is that exact story. This is Casa del Toki. This is a single estate. Um, State grown, family owned. These are hand picked grapes, Sauvignon Blanc, and to me, Sauvignon Blanc in Chile is really just unbe unbeatable. It's definitely not that New Zealand cat urine smell that no, you get. No, it's not. It's more Sancerre esque, if you will, for your, you know, Sauvignon Blanc purist. Yeah. You've got good Christmas on the front. There's excellent minerality, and uh, Chile. It's just it's a fabulous price. That's ten dollars. It's a you know a great value. It's also part of our holiday six pack. We've got a holiday six pack set up in each store. You can come in. We make it easy for you. Just pick out any six bottles out of that rack, and it's forty nine ninety nine for any six. If you like this, you can get all six. You can do it however you want. But that's just a fabulous bottle of wine right there. So oh cheers, uh, cheers. Your first episode. Absolutely, it's a big deal. Absolutely. Um, what I what I like about this, I think, is I'm not a huge white wine drinker. Um, I think most people, they think of whites, they think of Chardonnay and that super buttery taste. This is really a crisp taste. It's really crisp. It's all stainless steel fermented. And what's also fun about it, too, is it is a white wine for red wine drinkers. I'm glad you said that. It's got the spice. It's got the acidity that a lot of us that really prefer red wine will drink. And you can just have it by itself. You can pair it with seafood. This is a great sit on the back porch and pound this baby Excellent. kind of wine. I was going to ask you what it paired with. So great, yeah, seafood, like shellfish, yeah. I would imagine. Oh yeah, any kind of white fish. But I mean, I, I don't do a lot of food pairing stuff just because yeah. I think, I don't know, it makes people start to think about it too much. If you think it tastes good, it does. Wine pairs best with television, <laughs> I think. Exactly. Uh, now we're going to jump from Chile to Spain, and this is a little gem we discovered wow. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, this is. Whew, a region called Jumilla in Spain, and there's three grapes in there. Uh, a grape that you're very familiar with, Cabernet Sauvignon. Absolutely. A grape that you may not be as familiar with called Monastrel, which in a lot of English-speaking countries is called Mouvedre. Great grape. And then thirdly, Tempranillo, which is very, very typical of Spanish wine growing. It comes from the Spanish word temprano, which means um, you know to arrive early. And it's an early ripening grape, so you get that kind of fruit forwardness, but then you get body and acidity and flavor from the cab and the monastrel mixing together. Is this, this a is, um, is this a unique blend? I've not it heard is of this a, It is a unique blend, absolutely. It's not unique to, to Jamia. Jamia, and by the way, it's spelled J-U-M-I-L-L-A. 
And we have Jamila. some. Jamila. We have yeah, exactly <laughs> Jamila. Jamila. Uh, we have some more expensive versions of this, but I just couldn't believe this when I tasted it. I said, "Oh gosh, it's a baby version of that wine that we all love so much." So instead of being about forty-five bucks, it's coming wow. in a whopping sixteen ninety-nine. Yikes! I mean, it's just a this drinks fabulous, like yeah. yeah, like a fifty-dollar bottle of wine. Wow! I I would highly recommend this to a to my red drinking friends out there. Definitely. Yep. And wow. this, we'll have this in both stores. It's got that wow. yeah, and we just opened it. And the I know, yeah. Oak and fruit. Literally, and like oak before we hit record, fruit. we opened this. Wow. <laughs> well, and the thing about it too is, uh, from a, from the, from the Spanish wine standpoint, is Spain is the largest. Uh, has the largest percentage of land under vine of any wine growing country in the world. I did learn something new every day. And they also have a very, very struggling economy. So they're really counting on us to get, you know, to, to, they don't drink a lot of the wine in Spain. They drink mm. a lot of liquor. Um, mm. But they are counting on us, particularly America, to buy a lot of their wine. So this is definitely made for the American palate. If you didn't know where this was from and had all the information and you just smelled it. This has got a lot of plums, a lot of chocolate that mm -hmm. you get, and a lot of your big, heavily oaked Napa Valley wines right. in particular. Big so. Napa type tasting. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then speaking of Napa, and you know, just a lot of shops like ours, but we've really made our names <laughs> by, um, by really trying to find value. Yeah. I mean, nobody wants to spend a lot amazing. of money on, on a bottle of wine, but they will if they really believe in it and they really, yeah. really like it. This wine right here, this is a, the Hindsight Napa Valley Cabernet. It's a 2012, I believe. Yeah, so it's it's still fairly young, but again, you know, it behaves like a $40, $50, $60 dollar bottle of wine. It's 25 bucks. My only complaint with this is there's not a filet mignon underneath the <laughs> well, table here we, somewhere. You, you, you gotta give me more warning. We've got a lot of restaurants around us. We can I make that happen next That's time. That's true. But wow. uh, this, is, this is just fabulous. Drinks very, very well. This would definitely be something you would serve, would not be ashamed to serve someone who's into hundred dollar cabs. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, for that's what, that's what's been fun about the business, really, for the past six years. You talk about the real estate and the ebb and flow of the economy and so forth. The other thing that's happened that's really interesting in our society. Not only are more people into wine than they were 10, 15, 20 right. years ago, but we don't ever know what to buy each other anymore. I mean, think about it. You know, you, you, those of sure. you that have your, your spouse, like you know, there's how much do you sweat when you're like, oh god, a birthday, oh god, anniversary, oh gosh, you know, it's Valentine's Day, and you're just sweating because you're like, oh god, did they give me the clues that I needed to make this purchase? And wine is just a great gift. It's it's yeah. easy. It you know, a lot of, a lot of people like wine. And you can get a decent bottle of red and get a decent bottle of white for under $30. You don't have to break the bank and you can get some great stuff. So we, we've got this wonderful Chilean Sauvignon Blanc that's about $10, bucks, 16 dollars for the Jamia Red. And then we've got this fabulous Hindsight Napa Valley Cab. And again, to me, if someone said that was $65, $70, yeah, bucks, you'd believe totally, them. It's yeah. just absolutely Completely fabulous. Believable. That's twenty four ninety nine on the shelf. I'm, I'm shocked. They've, they've just been opened and, and they, they taste this good. And what they're already, they like yeah, exactly. Hours. And I didn't chill them or anything. These are room temperature, so these are probably about 73, 74 degrees. I usually recommend you take your reds and put them in the fridge for about yeah. 10 minutes, bring them down to cellar temperature or castle temperature, I like to jokingly say, and just have a lot of fun with them. Absolutely. Joe, thank you so Chris, much. Thank you so much. I'm, it. I'm, I'm proud to be. Uh, I'm proud to be the first. Thank you very much. Cheers. Let them know how they can find you. Mm. Give them a little more information. Website, all that. Absolutely. Sort of thing. We're at uh, wine101nc.com, and the website for both locations is at that is at, at that address. Very good. And to see further episodes of this show, go to wineandre.com. W i n e and a n d re.com. Thank you much, and cheers. Cheers, brother.